In this example, I'm going to demonstrate the simplicity of computing a weight and balance using the vector method, also called the plotter and graph method, for a Beechcraft 58 aircraft. Although there are many different aircraft makes and models, the procedure for using the vector method for each aircraft is pretty much the same. Now, the vector method is made up of two parts. The paper graph, which indicates the weight of the aircraft vertically and the center of gravity horizontally, shows the aircraft center of gravity envelope for your aircraft. And then there's the aluminum plotter, which has the weight scales for each loading position in the aircraft. The most important thing to know when using the vector method is to ensure that the aluminum plotter is lined up properly with the graph. Now to do this, make sure that the top or bottom edge of the aluminum plotter is aligned with the horizontal weight lines on the graph. It is incorrect to align the aluminum plotter with any of the center of gravity lines on the graph. Let's begin our computation by plotting our basic empty weight in CG for our aircraft. For our example, we'll use 3,600 pounds at 78 inches. We'll make a dot right where those two lines intersect on the graph. Next, let's add the pilot and passenger in the front seats. Let's add a total of 350 pounds. We'll take the zero tick mark, put it on our empty weight in CG, and draw upscale to the total weight. Next, let's add the passengers in the center row of seats. Again, let's do 350 pounds by placing the zero tick mark on that last point plotted and draw up scale to the total weight. Next, let's add the passengers in the last row. By using the aft row scale on the plotter, let's draw up scale to 250 pounds. Again, by placing the zero tick mark on the last point plotted, and drawing upscale. Next, let's load baggage in the aircraft. Let's put 100 pounds of baggage in the aft baggage compartment. Clearly, we're outside of the aft center gravity limits for the aircraft. We can either reduce the weight of baggage in that compartment Without even doing any math, simply just draw right to the aft limit. But for simplicity, we're just going to put the 100 pounds in the nose baggage instead of the aft baggage compartment. Now the maximum takeoff gross weight in this aircraft is 5,500 pounds. We're simply going to draw fuel to our maximum takeoff weight, make a mark, and let's make a mark for our landing fuel. We'll make that 40 gallons so we can see at landing what our weight and center gravity is going to be. You can see more video tutorials in the support section of our website at www.flyincg.com.